There once was a man born of a royal lineage. Though royal by birth, his life was without glory nor prestige. A boy left alone in the world, fighting and bleeding for survival. The bravest sword on the cruel battlefield, this crimson-haired warrior. Bearing the weight of his lineage, to fulfill his bloodline's obligation. He who fights against his destiny through the power within him. Motivated by the past, driven by bloody memories. I've been looking all over for you. Where were you? You're late. You must hurry to the training ground. Uh-oh, so Buford looks a bit upset. We should hurry before he becomes even angrier. You're late yet again. I thought I once told you that time is as precious as gold. I have no choice but to report to the Duke if your tardiness continues. Since you are late, we'll begin training immediately. Are you ready? Then let's get started. Today, we will proceed with combat training. You'll learn how to use the sword against that scarecrow. Go and swing your blade. put much work into it. There's more to wielding a sword than just swinging it. A lot more to it, in fact. Never forget that all knights make their oath with that sword. You decide your fate upon the blade and bear the weight of your pledge. Now, sheath your sword and come to me. You are the direct descendant of the great hero, King Depardieu's eldest son, Archduke Lowen. You are in the line of succession to inherit House Decker, as well as the throne. That is why you must keep training. The status of a monarch isn't just given, it must also be earned. Do you understand? Now, next we'll... Ah! What? Ah! Young master, wait here. One of you, guard the young master. Everyone else, to battle positions. What is this? There's Deckard's young master! Get him! Young master, run! We must move quickly! And that's what matters. We must get away from here. This place is dangerous, my lord. 
Sir Buford, that isn't possible. Don't you understand? This must all be part of that tyrant's plan. Deckard Six is obsessed with the throne. He's imprisoning or killing all those with the right to secession. This won't end unless I die. I do not fear death. But this child, my innocent son, Sir Buford, I beg you, please protect my son. But, my lord... Please, Sir Buford, protect my child. I understand. By my own blood, I swear to protect him. My child, I love you. You must survive, no matter the cost. Time is running out. You must leave, Sir Buford. <sighs> Go now. Keep close to Sir Buford. I love you. We're taking a hidden passage. Just a little further now. I will make a path. Follow me. Stop them. I'll follow soon. Go now. Like your parents said, you must survive. Finally going to taste the blood of the Red Wolf. Come! Ha! You won't get past me. The world was a merciless place for a boy left kinless, thus defenseless. Pursued by foes, days of fear ensued. And hunger followed him like a shadow. All he had for enduring the brutal winter was his warm breath on frozen hands. Amid such agony, however, was the loyalty and love of the Elder Knight, Buford. With Buford's devotion and care, the boy grew into a man who forged his own destiny with a sword. Now, let adversity cross his path again, for he shall conquer them all.
Master, you've returned. I'm relieved to see you unscathed. I was pleased to hear that you did well at the Red Knight's bugbear raid, but you know I would never have approved of this excursion. I can see that these fetters are frustrating you. Come to think of it, it's already been a decade since we hid away on this remote island to escape our pursuers. Very well then, if you can manage to become an official knight, I'll be able to rest at ease even if I give you free reign. Still, you must keep in mind that with freedom comes responsibility. Go visit Sir Valton. He can explain the appointment ceremony. We Red Knights have protected the Talking Isle for generations as proud royal knights. We have always upheld this duty, even through hard, dark times. When Prince Depardieu sought refuge here, for instance, or when Cacricus was resurrected. It would have been an honor to appoint you as one of us. Unfortunately, we will have to postpone that for a while. Recently, the number of missing has grown at an alarming rate. Those on the search mission have also gone missing, including the head of the appointment ceremony. So, for now, like you to join us on another search mission to find our members. Elisa, I will leave you in charge of this mission. The two of you can work together. I'm Elisa. Let's cut to the chase as we don't have much time. We'll investigate the North Island first since that was where the members were last headed. Let's stock up on what we need first. This is a green potion. It's an essential item that makes you faster. Running out of green potions is a major inconvenience. Don't forget to buy them in advance from the general merchant. Come to think of it, I've heard your name before. You're famous for your audacious red hair. I also heard you can be quite reckless. Either way, I don't really care as long as you do your job. Just as you can't hide the sky with your hand alone, the same can be said about the truth. Oh. Ah, if it isn't the bugbear, Beheader, you've grown well, just like your red hair would suggest. Redheads have a way of overcoming hardships and paving a path of their own, just like the wise King Decker in the second, who overthrew the false king. Grandpa, stop saying weird things like that. Have you seen the missing knights by any chance? Hmm. Perhaps the island's whispers lured them into darkness. They wouldn't be the first on this isle. Many people disappeared 130 years ago, too. Back when the waters around the Talking Isle were called the Bloody Sea. Half of everyone alive on the Talking Isle disappeared. What happened to the rest, you ask? They all died, of course. Do you know why? It was because of the high demon Capricus's resurrection. Legend has it that a demon lay dormant under the earth of the Talking Isle. We should just go. When Grandpa Alfred starts with one of his stories, he never stops talking. You know teleport magic, right? We should teleport to the North Island since it's far away. Something's not right. I'm sure the North Island was never this dark. What on earth? There aren't supposed to be any undead on the North Island. Save me. Oh, it's the magician. I'm saved. Please, take me back to the village. Not so fast. Aren't you from the Red Knight Supply Division? What is going on here? Where did all these undead come from? Well, well, um, 
The dungeon door opened, and the undead started pouring out. They kept rambling about, seeing villagers inside the dungeon. So they all headed there, but I saw nothing. Just get to the point already. Wait, why are all these silver weapons here? Did the other knights head into the dungeon without their weapons? What were you doing? Oh, what does it matter? There's nothing I could have done anyway. I'm not strong enough to fend for myself. I would have died as soon as I got there. What's the point of anything if I die? There's nothing wrong with trying to survive. You can't blame me for grabbing a few things along the way. Ugh, not only are you untrustworthy, but you're also without a conscience. Hand over the silver weapons. We'll go save them ourselves. If anything has happened to the knights, you'd better be prepared to answer for it. Here, use this instead. It'll be much more effective against the undead. Follow me. I know the way to the dungeon. My god, this blood and these corpses. It's the missing villagers. Wait, I see footprints. Let's follow them. There was some truth in Boris's words. The dungeon door is already open. I've been here before when I took the Red Knight's entry test. I'll take the lead. Follow me in. This is the place Grandpa Alfred told us about. We'd better be careful. Please come over here for a minute. Take this magic doll. Don't let anyone know that I gave you one. Broken magic dolls are supposed to be returned to the magician's lab. But, well, let's just say I wanted to satisfy my intellectual curiosity. I wasn't planning on giving you this, but since the Red Knight's safety is at stake, we need to do all we possibly can. Magic dolls have many functions. Hmm, let's check how many of them still work. Thankfully, the hunt support function is still working. It's what matters most. left behind from monsters. You can get a deeper understanding of their true nature by studying their residue. Leaving it like this could be dangerous. We should take it back to the priestess as soon as we return to the village. function is working too. Great. These two functions are enough to be of help. I hope we can fix it later. Then we'll be able to use a lot more features. Let's head downwards. This seems to be a very old book. Let's take a look.
has answered our call. We shall become one with the truth as we offer our flesh, soul, and this whole island. Since he will need a strong vessel to hold his body, we tore apart the bodies of 90 young adults as sacrifice. Since great energy is required to open the door through which he shall enter, we sacrifice the souls of nine established magicians. Since he will need fresh and vibrant life to descend by our side, I offer my you lamb, the heart of my own child. We call for you, great demon. Come to us. How repulsive. Perhaps it's about Capricus? Legend has it that magicians once summoned a demon with that name. Although I don't really believe in those tales. Wait, there's something more. Conceited beings believe everything ended once he was sealed. The path shall not close once it is opened. He is still here with us. So long as death exists, he shall continue to return. The words are written in blood. Ugh, also not written long ago, judging from the fact that the blood's still fresh. That means there are still people around who worship the demon. If this is true, I wonder if the legend of Capricus could repeat itself. <coughs> Did you hear that? This way, quickly! Please stop! Why are you... What? Why would they hurt Selena? I don't understand what's going on. One thing's for certain. We have to save her. This cursed undead! Something isn't right. Normally there'd never be this many. We have to hurry. I'm worried sick about Selena. Wait. The dungeon is supposed to be off limits from the second floor. We don't know what danger lies ahead of us. Let's use some protective magic before we head inside. The legend is true. This is where they summoned Capricus. You have walked into your own demise. Guilt eats away at your soul. I wonder, does yours weigh more than your parents? You may act strong, but branded fear is indelible. Struggle all you can to deny the darkness and flee from me in vain. Your despair when you finally give in to death will be my greatest pleasure and joy. I look forward to the day you come into my grasp. people come from the dungeon's second floor is supposed to be off limits <laughs> these people 
people aren't normal. They've lost their minds. We have to go deeper inside. We can't waste any more time here. Getting closer to her voice. That way. Save me. Please. Please, Mary. Stop. Selena, please hang on a little longer. <laughs> Selena. They're going to hurt Selena. No. sword and red cape. Is that... Sir Reinhardt? Do you remember the grave that was dug up on our way here? Its owner, Sir Reinhardt, is standing right over there. <sighs> Sir Reinhardt was the commander of the Red Knights. He fought the demon alongside the magicians of the Ivory Tower. Sir Reinhardt has to say. trying to open that chest. There must be a contraption nearby that we can use to open the door. see a red knight's emblem here. I can feel that it has magical energy. Try using the red knight's emblem. This was the key they were talking about. Let's take it with us. seems to have been sealed with magic, too. You 
shouldn't swear an oath with ink. There it is! Break the seal! Kill them! <laughs> to meet you. I am Alyssa of the Red Knights. Sir Reinhardt, may I ask what is going on down here? What are those zealots trying to do? Those zealots are trying to resurrect Capricus through their actions. I too have awoken. This place which I am guarding is the last line of defense to stop Capricus. Capricus's minion is already taking steps to make the resurrection happen. His cursed return is imminent. I can feel the death aura growing stronger. So this was the reason the undead appeared. I am already dead. I am bound by my oath and cannot leave this place. However, I believe we can stop Capricus's resurrection if you assist me. Do you know about the magic stones? My clan members and I once placed them all across the Talking Isle. It won't be complete without the magic circle of sealing, but we'll stand a chance if we have their power. We'll help you. Leave it to us. <laughs> I admire your passion. And you, young one, your red hair brings back fond memories. Judging by your attire, I see that you are aspiring to become a Red Knight too. Very well. As a former Red Knight's captain, I will give you a mission. I entrust my own heart to you. Collect the power of the magic stones in this heart with the pride of the Red Knights. The fate of the Talking Isle is in our hands. Let's return quickly to the village. the last memories for I see you've brought an object containing last memories. I'll purify it right away. When the will, emotion, and regret of the dead dwells around an object, it makes the perfect conditions for the last memories to form. I hope they will dissipate and rest in peace. The purification. If the last memories are left as it is, undesirable things will happen. That's why the Red Knights retrieve them. Here. The purification is complete. Thank you, Alyssa. It's fate, but I can feel the power of the soul. Will you try reading the soul's memory? Transformation card. You can obtain one when you read a soul's memory. You can call upon the soul's power so long as you have this card. Try transforming right now. Here is a transformation scroll.
you feel the new power flowing through you? Using transformations wisely is an invaluable skill. We should go to report to Sir Valton. You're back. How is the North Island? The missing people. They were all sacrificed in the name of Capricus's resurrection. However, Sir Reinhardt awoke from his death to put a stop to it. Capricus is waking up? Is the disaster from 130 years ago destined to repeat itself? And Sir Reinhardt has awoken too. I can't believe this is happening. We will gather the power of the magic stones for Sir Reinhardt. We need your help too, Sir Valton. Do you know anything about the magic circle of sealing? I've seen traces of the magic circle around the island. I'll take the Red Knights and search for them. You must focus on gathering that power for Sir Reinhardt. Let's begin our mission. There's a magic stone around here. of the villagers have disappeared. I don't know if we can stop Capricus's resurrection. We only need five magic stones. We'll have hope if we can activate the magic circle. Very well. We'll complete the magic circle, no matter what odds we may face, and we'll return together. That was... Sir Reinhardt and his clan members. The memory of the heart must have somehow materialized. A long time has passed, but it still holds immense power. This power should be able to stop Capricus. By the way, what's this strange noise? It's getting on my nerves. Wait! I thought I heard a chicken clucking. So, you're Failior, aren't you? This is what happens when you try to transform without using a scroll. Just one morph scroll? <laughs> <sighs> you're a disgrace to us magicians. Here, take this. Oh, I'm saved! Thank you. I, Failor, will never forget this. Truthfully, I'm known to be a little forgetful. <clears throat> Let me repay you before it slips my mind. I'll show you something that's twice... No, three times more exciting than a morph scroll. I don't know what you're up to, but whatever it is, it must be good. Come quickly to the Knight's Command post. If we ignore him, we won't hear the end of it. Let's see what he has to say. discovered an ancient secret, a spell that enhances gear with the power of spirits. That's enchant. Enchant! Uh, oh, you already know? We don't need to hear any more. Let's go. Wait, this is not ordinary enchanting. It's so incredible, it can turn the world upside down. You can enchant your gear past its very limits, as long as you set your mind to it. Now, seeing is believing. Just watch this. Here it goes. Now, watch and learn from the master enchant. You must first extract the power inside the scroll. Then, you take that power and... Gently apply it to the weapon. Behold this dazzling! Oh, oh no! Oh. Here, get, take this scroll off my hands. Well, we now have a free scroll. Do you want to try using it? I'll give you my dagger. Great. 
Great job. But don't get the wrong idea. Enchanting gear isn't just for fun. It's an essential means of survival. Why don't you create a collection too? If you collect various pieces of gear, sometimes they react to each other, revealing hidden powers. Let's quickly recap what we need to do next. As I understand it, the magic stones are located in the Orc's Land, Monster Forest, and Knight's Camp. Time is of the essence, so we should split up for a while. You go to the Orc's Land, I'll head for the Monster Forest. Ah, I almost forgot. If you go to the Orc's Land, look for Liudin. He's a Red Knight who was dispatched there. I don't know if he goes by a different name now. Anyway, he'll help you if you deliver this letter to him. Luden is a bit of a weirdo, so don't be surprised, no matter how he might first appear. Away from post, transformed into an orc and currently infiltrating the Katoon Orc Fortress. By the way, orcs are sensitive to smell. If you're coming to find me, come prepared and don't tip them off. hostile to humans, but they tolerate their own kind. If you use the orc transformation scroll I've left behind, the orcs won't attack you. humans no this red it's the red knight's emblem apologies evidently i've been an orc for a little too long so i became somewhat confused pleased to meet you i'm called cricketon here magic stone you are looking for is nearby i'll guide you there ah and stay transformed we don't want to stand out here. Strange things are happening here as well. The fallen orcs have been attacking their own kind.
Zerg's resistance is fiercer than I thought. We haven't been in a situation as dire as this since that time. It was about five years ago at Winderwood. Haha. <laughs> we were retreating and were attacked by Shelob. We even lost our gear. Yes. But we never gave up. And we won't give up this time either. Come over here. I found something. This black mark reeks with a peculiar odor. It's the same death aura I felt from the orcs. You followed my clues, child who needlessly survived. south of the Orcs' land, at the Balu Orcs' village. I'll guide you straight there. Corrupted the orcs with the death aura could be Capricus's minion. Such evil deeds could only come from demons like him. Same one we saw at the magic stone from before. Capricus's minion must have been here. <laughs> <laughs> 